Hey everybody, it's Brady from Link Weather Forecast, and today I'm going to be doing a video on Hurricane, Major Hurricane Laura. This is not a video that is going to be happy by any means, as I said with Dorian last year, but it's something that has to be done because people need to know uh, what's happening with this system. So currently it's a Category 4 hurricane from the latest uh, recon data and the latest advisory from the National Hurricane Center from the 2 p.m. advisory, 140 mile per hour hurricane, 952 millibars, and continuing to intensify as we play through this loop here on Weather Nerds. It is, it is so indicative of, of a strengthening um, hurricane, major hurricane. So we're going to continue to look at some more information here. I'm going to slide through into the National Hurricane Center. Again, my data is not great, so if it cuts out at any point it may be a shorter video than I want you can see they're 140 miles per hour but some of this stuff is just sobering I mean it is the word that they're using unsurvivable over 20 feet of storm surge potentially I have I, I've witnessed a lot of major hurricanes um, in my lifespan and I've never I'm not, I'm not gonna say never but very rarely have the words that they're using today been used at all ever in terms of hurricanes i mean 15 to 20 feet of storm surge i mean these were katrina like numbers they were predicting uh it's not going to be katrina it's not going to be 28 and a half feet i can guarantee you that could it get up to 25 feet of surge i don't know i don't think so hopefully not my storm surge prediction is 18 to 24 feet right now these places i'll go through the peak surge map i mean just incredible numbers my numbers are because i think it's going to get up to 160 mile per hour cat five that was my prediction and i could be wrong i could be wrong this may not get quite there this might stop at like 150 miles per hour but i think it's going to get to 160 mile per hour cat five and at landfall maybe we can a little bit become 155 mile per hour cat four at landfall difference doesn't matter once you get into the cat four plus range once you get into high end cap four the destruction it doesn't matter once you get 150 plus miles per hour it's irrelevant it will flatten buildings uh, to get look at the rainfall here quickly and i think the rainfall is just slightly underdone even though it's a quick moving system i'm gonna go a little higher and say as much as 20 inches of rain is definitely possible in some places can't rule that out and up to 15 inches uh, away from where you see the higher totals as well and some of those oranges you see can't rule out potentially as much as 15 inches of rainfall in some places but for the most part uh, around uh, i would say 9 to 15 inches of rainfall is definitely possible and right at the coast where the eyewall comes in where you see some of those reds there a widespread 9 to 15 inches is definitely possible and isolated totals up to 20 inches cannot be ruled out uh, the interactive cone is going to be useless because they don't update it uh, till the 5 p.m. So we'll just go with the regular cone. Where is this going to make landfall and when is this going to land? Going to make landfall. A lot of people are asking. So we can see 7 a.m. That's where it's going to be uh, in central Louisiana. If we were to continue to play it out, I'd say sometime likely between 1 and 5 a.m. this evening, it's going to make landfall. So... It's terrible time at night. You can't see. It's this is just the worst. The worst case scenario has has unfolded for this. And sadly, the worst case scenario is what I was predicting. Um, I didn't want that to be the case, but I just saw the Gulf of Mexico and I saw nothing that could limit this from happening. It's rapidly intensified in half the time. It it needs to to categorize itself as RI. Since 2 a.m., it's strengthened 35 miles per hour. So that's just to show how incredible this system is. It just just quite remarkable. Quite remarkable. Um, again, this is gonna, I think it's gonna come up and become in a tropical storm too, or an extra tropical storm right off the coast of Southern New England. So we'll see how that how close that gets to because if it gets close enough there could be some um, big impacts potential power outages and heavy rainfall for southern new england as well so we can't rule it out and also we can't yes the storm surge is going to be catastrophic at the coast but it's still a hurricane inland it takes a while to unspin right 
imagine you get a really good spin on a bottle cap or a penny, right? If you get a really, really good spin, it's going to spin for a lot longer, right? Until it finally stops spinning. That's, that's exactly what happens with a hurricane. And we see it's still a hurricane as it moves into uh, the, uh, the Texas, Louisiana coast and still a strong tropical storm into Arkansas. Uh, likely, potentially still a 60, uh, uh, potentially still a 60 to 70 mile per hour tropical storm well into Arkansas and then becoming a tropical depression and then re-strengthening as it will get uh, involved with the jet stream and potentially come a maybe a 40, 50 mile per hour tropical storm, extra tropical storm off the coast. And maybe even and get even stronger then potentially once it gets up to uh, Newfoundland up there as you see. So this will be interesting to monitor and track. But expect widespread power outages, unsurvivable uh, storm surge at the coast, and expect and potentially expect widespread out power outages too into Tennessee. Potentially, if it interacts with that jet stream a little bit more, we could see a little bit stronger. A sooner of an extra tropical transition but also a stronger storm as well so we i wouldn't be surprised if tennessee gets involved with some of these and kentucky gets involved a little bit too with some strong winds potentially uh, 40 to 50 mile per hour gusts in some of those places uh, but if we're even talking about shreveport shreveport should expect hurricane conditions potentially gusts up to 90 miles per hour cannot be ruled out i'd say for a place like shreveport and uh, yeah, just it's going to be some incredible wind gust reports that come out of this for sure. And the bottom line to take out of this is there's nothing you can do to stop it. Okay, this is going to be a major hurricane. It is a major hurricane, and it's going to be gets it's going to strengthen even more. The only thing you can do is put your life in your family's lives and your friends' lives. Put them less as at the least possible risk you can to be hurt. Anybody you know, please alert them and, get, and, sp and spread this message to everybody um, because they need to hear that they're not going to survive if they're on the coast right now around Lake Charles. You're not going to survive if you stay. You're just not. If you have, unless you're at the highest, highest elevation point uh, on, in Lake Charles, there's a good chance you're not going to survive from the storm surge, catastrophic storm surge, unsurvivable storm surge. Not my words, the National Hurricane Center's words. Uh, so without further, uh, yeah, that's going to be it. Uh, just stay safe and let's, let's hope for the best. Peace out.